What are the implications for Ramaphosa? He didn't quite get the 60%, but people are saying that's not going to stymie his ambition. Yes, I uh, didn't get that 60% that the markets as well as um, analysts were looking for. Of course, we know the ruling African National Congress won the election um, with a national vote of 57.5%. That still is a strong indication that um, the ANC is given another chance, of course, to revive an economy that has been ailing and also to tackle corruption. What we'll have to see now is whether Ramaphosa will have enough power to put in place the policy reforms that he promised to do ahead of the election, of course, that including fighting corruption as well as reviving state-owned companies as well as reducing his cabinet. We'll have to wait over the next couple of weeks to see exactly how much power he can wield within his own party. Yeah, and on that point, Ammo, great to see you, by the way. Uh, the recent rally that we've seen in the RAND is taking a little bit of a pause today. Can we read into that, that investors are getting a little bit of a reality check on how difficult the road could be for from here? Exactly. I think that we saw the RAND really firming up ahead of the weekend. We know that election results only came through on Saturday over this weekend. Um, of course, we know that even though RAND denominated government bonds also uh, were quite firm uh, ahead of the election results, we'll now have to see over the course of the next couple of days exactly how the market reacts, whether or not it believes that Ramaphosa will have enough power to deliver on his promises. We'll have to see exactly how that unfolds over the next couple of days.